This is a quick tutorial on how to get jaw animations to properly mix with your blend shapes in Blender uh, after you've exported the character from Character Creator 3 or 4. So the issue that we're looking at is that in Character Creator, with their emotions, if you slide the jaw open or move the jaw left or right, it moves the bone along with any mesh <clears throat> associated with it. But in, if you try to do the same thing in Blender uh, by jumping into the rig and trying to pose the jawbone, or uh, rather, if you try to do that with just the blend shapes in Blender by trying to open the jaw, it does not actually move most of the, mo the mouth. And this causes problems in uh, programs that rely just on the blend shapes instead of the actual jawbone. So there is a Pretty simple way to get the blend shapes to uh, incorporate the bone, uh, the jawbone animation. And the way to do that is to start by posing the jawbone. So we find that up in the rig. <clears throat> uh, the jawbone controller, this one here, you first move it. We'll start with the jaw open and you just kind of eyeball it. That's why I was using character creator to get a sense of how wide open the jaw should be, something like this. So just kind of eyeball it until you have the jaw about where you think it ought to be. And then you can leave pose mode. <clears throat> and then on your rig or on your, your mesh itself, go to the, arm, uh, the, the armature modifier and then save as shape key. That's gonna create a new shape key. So we'll get to what we're gonna do with that in a second. But first we go back in here and we undo the pose of the jaw since we don't want that anymore. Uh, so for this jaw, <clears throat> Alt G will put that back where it started. Now back down to this rig. So the jaw has returned to where it was, but if we go into the shape keys, we'll see that it has left us this new shape key that when activated will uh, do the same transformations as the jawbone. So what we would ideally like is for the new thing that we just made and the existing exported jaw open, which does some stuff, we want those both to be active. So if we turn both of them on at the same time, now that's effectively what the jaw the jaw uh, pose and the original shape key would do. If we go into new shape from mix, it will create a new blend, uh, new shape key that incorporates both of those two that we just made. So then we can turn off the other two back to what it was, jaw open. And then this new one <clears throat> does both things. So it has both of those shape keys blended together. And at this point, you can delete rig and you can delete uh, jaw open, for example, or you can move it to the bottom and uh, rename it if you just want to keep it around uh, in case you think you screwed something up. But the new one that we just created, we can rename that to be what we want the exported one to be. And I like to just move it into position alongside the other similar uh, shape keys. And this one, this is just the jaw movement without the rest of the mesh movement, and that I'll just delete. So now at this point, I have a A25 jaw open that does the whole thing. And <clears throat> you would apply this same thing to the teeth and the tongue as well, those both get moved by the jawbone when you actually do the moving, and that should be it. And uh, you would also want to apply that same technique to uh, jaw forward, left and right if you want. Jaw forward was a little bit awkward. I couldn't, at least in mine, get the jaw to actually move forward using the bone uh, posing, but maybe I just didn't see how to do that, but it didn't seem that important to me. I think jaw open is the one that's the most important. So once you've exported this to Blender, then actually uh, adjusting these shape keys or exporting this to Unity, then the shape keys should actually move the whole uh, the whole jaw rig 
in Blender or in Unity, though, you'll just want to make sure that you, in your rig, you uh, disconnect uh, the jawbone from your uh, from the avatar so that it's not getting set to some weird default position. Okay, that's it.